hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion with basic signal operations and uh, previously we discussed about signal addition so in this video we are going to discuss about uh, another basic signal operation which is signal multiplication okay so as the name suggests basically we will multiply the amplitude values of uh, the two signals which we have been given at the respective time instance let us say we have two signals okay x1 t this is t was any random signal and this is let's say another signal x2 t okay first we have to determine the values at the respective time instants t1 t2 t3 see here t1 t2 t3 let's say this is t4 and here also here this is t4 so at each of these time instants t1 t2 t3 and t4 the respective amplitudes the values we have to determine let's say a1 a2 uh, this one let's say a3 this one it is a4 and here it is let's say a small a1 small a2 small a3 small a4 respective amplitude values so like we did in signal addition in signal addition we just added them okay the sum here we will take the product okay we'll calculate the product okay three two t3 is a3 and t4 it is a4 to f similarly we calculate the product of the respective amplitude values at the respective time instants okay so this is the basic concept of signal multiplication now let us uh, understand it with the help of some examples so now we will perform signal multiplication on some signals first let us take the basic signals the test signals let us say we take a unit step signal ut and we multiply it with another same unit step signal now the result like the concept the basic concept of signal multiplication said we have to multiply the amplitude values at each time instant say t1 t2 then t3 similarly here t1 t2 and t3 but here it is constant one we know unit step signal it is one for the entire positive time duration t greater than zero so at each of these points the value is one one multiplied with one gives us one okay so we will get the same unit step signal as output because 1 multiplied with 1 is 1 so we'll get the same unit step signal at the output at each of these points the value is 1 so if we multiply 1 with 1 we'll get the same signal so it is same unit step signal now let us say we multiply this uh, unit step signal with let's say a ramp signal okay a ramp signal
okay so one two three so here at one this is also one at two this is two and three it is three so when we multiply these two signals what we'll get at t equals to zero the value of this signal ut is one but here it is zero so one into zero will get zero at t equals to one this is one and here also it is one in ram signal one into one equals to one at t equals to two this is one near you know, step signal and also here t equals to two it is two because it is a ramp signal it is two so it will follow the same pattern at t equals to three it will be one into three will be three because at three also this will be equal to three because it's a ramp signal r t is equal to t for t greater than zero and zero for t lesser than zero this is the basic representation of ramp signal so basically we will get the same ram signal see okay output is equal to the time duration same this expression so the output will be the same ram signal rt okay now let us multiply two ram signals okay let us multiply two ram signals okay we multiply two ram signals so let us try to determine the output at t equals to 0 both of them are 0 so 0 multiplied with 0 is 0 at t equals to 1 the amplitude here is 1 here also it is 1 so it is 1 at t equals to 2 here the amplitude is 2 and here also the amplitude is 2 so it is 4 the product signal at t equals to 3 this will be also be 3 because rt equals to t that is the representation as per this representation this will be 3 also this will be 3 the amplitude so it will be 3 into 3 equals to 9 similarly at t equals to 4 it will be 4 into 4 equals 16 and so on 5 it will be 25 so the the signal the product signal the multiplied signal will look something like this okay 0 1 2 3 let us erase this t equals to 3 it is 9 t equals to 4 is 16 and so on <coughs> so the result at t equals to 0 it is 0 at t equals to 1 this is 1 at t equals to 2 it is 4 here at t equals to 3 it is 9 it is not possible to draw 9 here let us say 9 is somewhere around here 3 equals to 9 so the signal it will look something like this and then we will join it it is not uh, completely accurate because of lack of space I am not able to draw lot the, all the points so this is the this is how it will look like okay and then we will draw 9 then 16 so that's the way it will go 
so this is the product of two ramp signals so here we discuss the signal multiplication operations on uh, the basic test signals okay so now let us perform the signal multiplication operations in the next video we will perform it on some uh, random signals of different shapes okay